Okay, I'm far away. So um, Friday night, local derby under the lights of the arena. It's, it's one to look forward to. Yeah, I think it'll be an interesting game. I think that obviously there's been a change. The manager's gone in there. Wayne Rooney's gone in. John Eustace has left. There's, uh, there's certainly um, an intent there from, from them to play a certain type of football. So, yeah, I think... Um, it is an interesting one, but also one we are looking forward to it. There's no doubt under the ca under the lights in front of the cameras, and yeah, what's not to like? Hey, how are you? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Uh, good, thank you. Good, um, good. So far away. Um, what what's the feeling among the players after this? Obviously, disappointing results after the two wins. It's, how how do you feel you compare with the with, with the two that are right at the top of the table? Uh, yeah, obviously it was a disappointing result. Um, we were really, you know, keen on making it three wins in a row and going to a, a decent side who are, are up there and, and getting a win. But um, you know, uh, we, we started a bit slow. It took us a while to kind of figure them out a little bit. But then I think we sort of came back into the game towards the end of the second half. Uh, towards the end of the first half, sorry. And uh, and in second half, uh, made a few changes and I thought we were a lot better. And I don't think they really had much in the second half to be honest. So you know, if Matt, you could say if Matty scores his pen. It might change things a little bit, but um, you know we didn't get too down because the performance still wasn't wasn't too bad, and our performances of late have been pretty good. So uh, it was important to to make sure the confidence doesn't drop, and um, you know uh, look look ahead to the Birmingham game. And you mentioned Wayne Rooney because you had a couple of tight meetings with Derby when he was in charge there. Yeah, absolutely. That, like I say, he's um, he's come in, in in circumstances where the team's doing really well and um, uh, things just have changed slightly for them but you know ultimately you, you, when you're trying to sort of put in your uh, the philosophy of the, the board and the club and the way that they want to go about things sometimes that has a little bit of uh, uh, an effect in a negative way before it starts to build but like I say, that's that's down to them. For us, it's about it's about us and what we're doing, and uh, and how we go about this game. And and on the back of the last time out, obviously we played we played actually okay. First half we were a little bit sort of wasteful with the passes, um, and in the second half we were a little bit better with, with with that. We had some opportunities and we were a little bit unfortunate. I feel um, not to have got something out of the game, but that you know ultimately we we. Um, we want to get back to winning ways as quickly as possible. Um, tough run of games coming up, there is no doubt. This is one of those, but we're looking forward to it. So now Birmingham City on, on a Friday night should be should be an interesting one. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. The boys are looking forward to it. Um, you know, Friday night game on Sky. Um, you know, it's exciting and uh, at local derby. So uh, yeah, one that we're all looking forward to and. Um, looking to put in a, a good performance and, and get back on track. So you had said that Sakamoto, I think, had been yeah. carrying some sort of strain. Is he one that you, a player that you have to look after uh, a little bit? The, there are... The, look, the Championship's totally different. It's relentless, everybody knows. It's physical, everybody knows that. Coming from, from a different team, coming from a different division, from a different country, a different club, different type of football, they have to adapt and get used to the way that things happen in 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 England, in the UK, and that is something that is always the the the, the probably the most testing element for people coming over. So you know they've got to get used to the frequency of the games because they play once a week abroad. Uh, they'll train the other days and they'll obviously work towards the the give them that time between games to to work towards the performances, but. That doesn't happen necessarily here all, all the time. We have the international break where you're trying to get a balance between work and, and, and rest and then coming back in and being ready to go again. And we've done it different ways and there is no rhyme or reason to it. You know, the last time um, we've worked through the international break, we've come back and we've been better, but they've needed a little bit more time. I tried to give them a little bit more time back from from the summer that, uh, that, that was um, everybody knows was a later finish for everybody as well but also trying to get the work into them with a new group and there's a balancing act to, to, to be had um, but ultimately you've got to treat people as individuals and how they're looking how they are how they're presenting what they're saying um, how they're performing you know they're, they're, again there's, there's a lot of variables in that and when you're asking about individuals the, the individuals 
their circumstances are always taken into consideration and we try and do that um, every single day. From a personal point of view, uh, had a pretty good season. Have you been happy the way things have, have gone? Uh, yeah, I feel like you know my, my game's continually getting better and better. I feel like I'm improving. Um, obviously, I had the the little small setback with my injury, but you know, since then, I feel like I've I've come back in and, and done pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying my football, um, and you know, just trying to keep keep improving. Just before the Ipswich game, Casey Palmer and um, Fabio Tavares got an hour for the um, under 21s. How how big a step forward has that been for them? Well, it's an hour that they've not played in the last 12 months and three months or two and a half months, respectively, and and it will 100% do them. Uh, no harm whatsoever, and they've uh, they've trained this week as well. So, you know, it gets them closer to uh, to where we need them to be. And there's been a couple of changes of system the way that the teams approach things. How much of a difference does that make for, for you personally? Um, yeah, there's obviously a few tweaks um, to the game. Um, obviously, probably a bit more sort of forward passing options, players in forward areas. Um, you know, so and maybe a bit more room for rotation and things like that uh, in midfield. But you know, overall the principles are, are still the same in the way we want to play. Um, and you know, whatever system we're playing, we will, uh, we'll do our best to um, execute a game plan. And you're one of the survivors of last season with lots of new players coming in. What, what's it been like working with the, with the, the new players and the new squad? Yeah, the boys who have come in, uh, they're great lads. Um, you know, really settled in and quickly to the dressing room. Um, you know, all got, all really getting on getting on well, um, you know, and uh, it's obviously taken a bit of time to get things going on the pitch, but I think the signs there of late, uh, it's, it's going in the right direction and I think we're only going to only gonna get better. And could Dave Body's announced that he's, he's leaving in January, you and he have worked together in this spell that you've been at the club, you seem to have had a very good working relationship with Dave. Yes, yeah, absolutely, I'm, uh, I'll be sorry to see him go, he's, um, he's a brilliant um person to have had around he has been fantastic for me and for the football club and, and he's helped facilitate all of the things all of the decisions all of the uh, the options that we've had we've sifted through we've we've planned a course and um, and stuck with it and it's been successful uh, to this point things 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 change obviously things change Dave feels it's the right time for him to to, to, to look to do something else maybe recharge his batteries I saw him say um, but ultimately go on and do whatever he chooses to do next and wish him all the best in whatever he does. He's, he's a brilliant, brilliant fella. I've really enjoyed working with him. And, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be sad that we don't have those daily interactions anymore. Have you met the, the guy that's coming in yet, John Taylor? No, no, not met him. Uh, and I don't know him. Um, but, again, that'll be another, another relationship to build. Things are changing and um, I look forward to meeting him.